Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial I wanted to go ahead and make. Um, this is about Google Classroom and the five most useful tips that I have found to make me very successful um, as a special education teacher. This is great for any teacher, um, but I work more with like your moderate kiddos, your mild and moderate kiddos, uh, self-contained classroom. So how do we keep them digital just like everybody else right now. Um, digital is the only burner and that's what we need to focus on. So how do we make ourselves successful with Google Classroom to make sure that our kiddos are successful? So here are some tips that I wanted to go ahead and talk with you about. Um, and then there's some pictures for this tutorial. Okay, so the first one that I love to use is assign a due date. This one is perfect for my parents. My parents love this. So when they log into my Google Classroom, they can see upcoming events, um, upcoming dates, and they like to see that because they know what they're supposed to do. I forefront all of my work up front on a Monday and all of the assignments according to our corporation are due the following Monday. Um, you can put pre-assignment dates for each day you want an assignment turned in, but what works best for my classroom and my parents is I upfront everything all on Monday and all of that work is due back on the following Monday. This is a great tool also to use if you're in the classroom um, when we get back there for your kiddos to know what's due, what's coming, and what they have missed. So it shows up multiple places. It shows up in the upcoming um, when they log into your Google Classroom and it also pops up on their calendar, their Google Calendar, and it sets reminders for them um, I had a parent like, what is this assignment that showed up on my Google Calendar? And it's like, no, that's great. So it helps them a digitally keeping track of um, what they need to do. So simply how you do that is when you're assigning um, in your Google Classroom where it says due, you just click a due date. So I will show you really quick. I'm in my Google Classroom. And when I go to create an assignment, And we are gonna create, who am I? Cause I'm going to show you that one today. And you can put in your directions when you add. Then over here, you can click on due date. And like I said, I always do the following Monday because that's how our corporation is choosing. You can also choose a time. So ours are technically due by noon, but I don't put a time, I just put a day. And then you would click assign. Super easy, the kids and the parents themselves love it. And I like it too because then I can, um, it also pops up on my Google Calendar and I can see what I've assigned and it helps me remember what I've assigned. All right, scheduling assignments. I have discovered this and this has become my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite thing. I work ahead, I like to plan ahead and get everything prepped and ready to go, but then being at home right now, working from home. Um, I have a little three-year-old and a husband and house and everything, so you get busy. Sometimes you think, oh, did I post that? Did I not post that? Scheduling is amazing. So what you do is when you go to assign, you actually, instead of having it pop as a sign, you wanna hit that drop arrow and hit schedule. Oh, I love this. And then I put the day and the time that I want it to be scheduled, and then it pops up in their Google Classroom on the day I want it to. And in my Google Classroom, it will show um, scheduled to be released, which is great. So when I log in and I think, oh, did I assign that? Then it all pops in on my um, Google. So right here, they are all, this, all of this is for the whole week. Like I said, I like to do everything up front and it will be released tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. So I don't have to think about it. I can sleep in, I can do whatever. And my entire week is ready to go and it will be released tomorrow and I don't have to think about it. So all you do when you do that is, let's go back to this draft and edit right here up at the top where it says assign. Well, I don't wanna assign it, I want to schedule it. And I love this feature. So I am going to schedule it. This is actually going to be released next Monday. 
And I like to do just 8 a.m. because some of my parents like to start working at 9 a.m. And then I would just click schedule. And now it is scheduling it. So here it popped up that it is ready and it will be released at 8 a.m. on the following Monday. Love, love, love this feature. Like I said, I upload everything all at once and then I have it ready to go. And I don't have to think about it. My favorite feature. So all you do, instead of a sign, you don't wanna assign it right away, you wanna schedule it, you wanna pre-schedule it. Okay, this is my favorite part also. Being a special ed teacher or any teacher, we have to differentiate and choose what groups um, and what students work go to. So I actually have a lot of like errorless work, but then I have some mild kiddos who can do some more advanced work compared to their peers. So instead of assigning to the whole class, right, where it says assign um, automatically all students, you just uncheck that and then check the students you want. Sometimes I would assign just to one student. Sometimes I assign to like three students. And then I would go back and assign the level, the other level to my other kiddos. Um, this is a great feature. I'm not gonna show you this in my Google Classroom just for privacy of my students, um, but it's super simple. Instead of having the default for all students, you would click on that um, and you would click on that area over here where it says all students and choose the students you want. All right, the next thing I love is Google Slides. I use Google Slides for everything that I make and I'm dabbling in Google Forms. Um, and the easiest way for Google Slides is you have to remember to make a copy for each student, like you have to. This is the key. So when you're in this assignment, and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add for my Google Drive. It should be my recent just because I've been messing around with it. You can always search for it. So who am I? I'm going to add it. Um, all of these images and clip art has um, been purchased off of Teachers Pay Teachers. Okay, so it defaults that students can view the file. Well, I don't want them to view my original document at all. No, I want them to interact with it. So I'm going to make sure that I always choose make a copy for each student. You have to always choose this, especially especially with um, Google Slides, or they would be interacting on the same document. And it's great if you have a team that you want the students to fill out the same form together, then you would want them to have it together. They could edit it, but I want them to have their own file, their own document, no one else messes with it, and then they don't interact with my original. Um, and I don't have to give them pure access. Having them create a copy for themselves will automatically drop into their Google Drive. And I can actually access this file through um, our class Google Drive. Whenever you have Google Classroom, you automatically get a folder in your Google Drive where all of this is stored. So you could go in and see their slide if they forget to submit it, which my kiddos do a lot. They forget to hit submit. Um, and I can access it in my Google Drive as well because I have full access to it. So you would make a copy for each student. I do this for every assignment that I give just to make um, it easier and make sure that they're not interacting on the same document. And again, you could choose if you want for all students. Um, I. You can choose ungraded or give a point. I always give like simple points. Um, my due date, if I'm gonna release it on May 4th, I actually want my due date to then be, um, okay, where are you, please? I want my due date to then be May 11th, cause then it would be the following week and I don't care about the time, so. There it is, and then I would actually put it in a topic. I like to have them in topics just because um, we're talking about spring animals and it keeps it a little bit more organized. And I do want this for all students, so I'm going to go ahead and schedule this since I am ready for it. Um, and it will not be released until May 4th. See, right here it says scheduled. Oh, it moved down, so it's scheduled. And it will not be released until May 4th, which is great. But then I have all of these that are due 
that are um, scheduled. I love the scheduling. That's my favorite part. That's all I got to chat about. So when you are assigning, make sure you always click make a copy for each student. That is the rule of Google Classroom. Okay, number five and the last one. Amazing that I came across this. There is a Google Chrome extension for Google Classroom, and the extension is phenomenal. Um, if you literally go to the web browser and type in um, Google Classroom extension, it will bring you to the Chrome extension, the Chrome web store, and then you would just add it. So mine's already added. That's why it says remove. And then it pops up in the top. If you look, it is up there. And when I am in an assignment, say I'm like, oh, I forgot to change a couple of the things and I need to push this out like right now. Um, this is great. So you would be in what you want to be in. Click that extension. And you would want to make sure to create an assignment or you can do anything else like you would in Google Classroom. And pick title, who am I? Right? Um, again, you want to make sure that it's make a copy. You See, you can do everything else that you would. You can put a due date on it. You can move it to the topic. Um, and you can schedule it just like you would. So you don't have to go into your Google Classroom every single time you're working on an assignment. You have this one done and you just Add it to your Google Classroom just like you would. So you don't actually have to go to your Google Classroom. You can be in your Google Drive on the assignment you want to assign. So those are my five tips. I hope, I hope those help you. These are the things that I have found that completely have changed my time being an at-home teacher, a digital teacher, especially for special ed kids. Um, how do we reach them? It's been one of the biggest struggles I'm coming across. And how do we make this easy for parents? So assigning a due date is definitely what you need to do to help you and all of your overcoming stress that this puts on us schedule your assignments, schedule them for the future. Once you have it made, once you have it ready to go, just schedule it for later so then you don't have to stress about it and think about it again. Um, differentiating, especially for special ed kiddos, or if you have like different groups in your classrooms, this is a must. Don't always think you have to assign to every single kid in the classroom. When you are adding an assignment, please make sure to always make a copy for each student or it will be a mess and then you'll be stressed out about it. And then that Google Chrome extension is the best thing I have found. You can do all of those skills that I just showed you in the document in your Google Drive and not have to go into your Google Classroom and find it in your Google Drive. That is what I love about it. Okay, I hope this helped everybody. Um, let me know if you have any more questions and I have been really excited on making all of these tutorials for you. So if you have one that you need, go ahead and let me know. Thank you everyone.